So I think sociology has a lot to say to just the average person on the street, you know. Uh, we study things like marriage and voting and health. And these are things that matter to everyone. I work on social movements. I wrote a book called From Black Power to Black Studies. And that book is about how student activists demanded that colleges and universities create academic programs that were about the history and culture of African Americans. One of the hallmarks of my research is I take something that a lot of sociologists might be uncomfortable with, might not have the patience to deal with, and then I will actually spend my time and effort to make it work. When I um, started research on the Black Power, Black Studies book, I went to the library at my graduate institution. I went to graduate school at the University of Chicago, and I went to E184.5. That's the Dewey Decimal Number for Black Studies. The shelf was this big. And I said, well, um, there's got to be a story here. My mother was from Costa Rica and my father was from Colombia. They are the classic 1960s immigration love story. They both went to New York City and they met each other literally in an English class. My father was a math teacher. My mother taught um, a wide range of subjects. So I was around education and educators my entire life. Um, so I've always felt comfortable in schools and around schools. It's not a surprise that my first book was on universities. And that probably comes from years of being around teachers and universities. It was very easy for me to understand how schools work and then to write a book about it. Uh, learning for me was a very uh, good experience overall. My parents were um, strong advocates of learning, and also learning not just in the sense of going to a classroom, but learning everywhere. So for example, a lot of parents would often get upset with their kids. They say, don't read all these comic books, that's a waste of time. My father actually bought me comic books because he said, well, if it gets you reading and gets your imagination going, by all means, let me get you more. Just tell me whatever you want, I'll go get it. Also, uh, my mother really believed in hands-on learning. And so one of my most vivid, uh, treasured moments with my mother, who is now uh, deceased, was literally being around four years old, sitting on the carpet, and my mother teaching me to read using flashcards. And that's, that memory has stayed with me my entire life, and I do that with my son. I try to make sure that there's a bridge between the more abstract theory, the more academic approach of things, and the everyday lives of people.